being on being conscious of Christ you operate in in Christ's faith unconsciously you were not called to be conscious of whether or not you're walking in faith you were not called to be conscious of whether or not you are properly praying as you should let me tell you why because by the life of participation you are each participant is fully present in the activity of the other he is at the father's right hand in session he is still in ministry do you know that he has his present day ministry at the father's right hand and he's also within you as you become conscious of him his activities will spring forth and you will realize by his spirit within you he will lead you to pray he will lead you to reach out to others he will lead you to do things that will lead to the advancement of the kingdom on earth it is the ministry of Jesus Christ alone that builds the kingdom <laughs> I will go as far as saying that of myself I don't even have a ministry it is to the extent to which I learn to identify and participate in his ministry that I can stand in offices to bless his church Because he called us to participate in what he is doing. He called us to participate in his faith. He called us to participate in all that is in him because all that is in him is in you. Thank you, Lord. Paul said something very shocking. He told the brethren in Corinth that, you know, why, how can you take the members of Christ and join the members of Christ to impropriety? Their act of immorality was joining Christ to what they were doing. That's the extent of our participation. You're taking Christ with you in whatever activity you're going into. Which means the following. As you're going to your job tomorrow, you're not thrown back on yourself. As you step into that office tomorrow... You're not going on yourself. As you're going back home to face the issues of your domestic life, you're not going back on yourself. Christ is participating together with you. Let's all stand to our feet this morning. The life I live in the flesh. There's a life in the flesh. There's a life of human issues. There's a life that is tested. There's a life of circumstances and situations. But this life in the flesh, we live by the faith of the Son of God. We participate in His faith. Because we know that He loves us and He has given Himself for us. This is the greatest awareness you should have of yourself. In this life of union, identification and participation today you may be here this morning listening to me this may sound new to some of you some of you have probably heard this before but I want to speak to someone in particular who has thoughts of rejection thoughts of discouragement thoughts of thinking you were called to a life of imitation of Christ meaning he's outside of you and you have to follow his footsteps I came to let you know he's taking those footsteps together with you from the inside of you and even when you will feel as if you are falling you'll be standing because he is standing on the inside of you any thought of rejection is not the voice of your Abba Father because your Abba Father has shed forth the spirit of his son in our hearts affirming that we are the sons of God today he's setting your heart free from fear fear of what's happening in the world fear of uncertainty fear of the things that may come about he wants you to know 
you're not thrown back on yourself. You're one with Christ. And because you are one with Christ, you are co-identified in Him. Can you declare this with me? I am crucified with Christ. One more time. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not just faith in the Son of God. The faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Thank you, Lord.